Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We are back. We are back. We are back with another video. And today, I don't even know. I ain't never made this dish before. So y'all, we are back with another video. Make sure that y'all like this video, comment down below, and make sure to subscribe. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We was down for so long, didn't have no choice but to go up. I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings to this. This is the taco meat seasoning, and you just wanna go ahead and mix that around really well. So, and if you don't have all of these seasonings, you can just buy the taco meat seasoning and season your meat that way. Um, it'll taste just as good. Now that our meat is done and out of the way, yummy, just make sure that you guys break those pieces up a bit and mix around all that yummy, yummy seasoning. So for the shells of the Mexican pizza, I'm going to go ahead and bake my top and bottom part. So. Um, I'm just going to put it here, and this brush already has some oil on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and brush a little oil on top of each. Throw those in the oven for about five minutes each side. Alright, you guys, so that is how my tortillas look after I took them out of the oven. And they are nice and hard and kind of crunchy, so I just wanted to use that because I know that the Mexican pizza is um, it has crunchy shells. So. so the first thing that I'm gonna do is add my refried beans to the surface of my tostada. All right, you guys, yum. I can't wait to try this out. And if you don't like the beans, go ahead and skip the beans because honestly, when I would go to um, Taco Bell, I would always ask for a Mexican pizza with no beans. But I thought, hey, let's try to do the whole recipe today for you guys. And if you guys don't want the beans, then don't add the beans, so. so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some ground beef. That should be enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my red enchilada sauce, so I just need a little bit to start off with. I know this is not a pizza, but it kind of is a pizza, it's a Mexican pizza, so, you know, and I actually like mine with a lot of that sauce, so I'm going to put sauce all around. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese, guys. Yummy. So you wanna use that cheese. All right, so now we're 
we're gonna take that and we're gonna go ahead and bake it in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. All right, you guys, so it is finally done. And now it is time to dress it with some of our favorite toppings. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with some white tomatoes and go ahead and spread these around. Sorry, I roughly chopped my tomatoes. And we're gonna go ahead and add some, actually Taco Bell does not add the, um, black olives anymore, but we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit, just a little bit, all right, and then we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of greenery and add some green onions, yum, guys, this is so good, and I hope you guys try this out at home for yourself. Alright you guys, and there you have it, Taco Bell's copycat Mexican pizza. And yay! So, you want to do the honors and try it first, Julian? Alright, go ahead. Go ahead and try one. Alright. Mmm, do you like it? Chunk of one stop? Mmm. Just like the one from Taco Bell. You think so? You think so? <laughs> On a scale to one through ten, let me know some. Let me know some. Cause we gotta feed the kids. You gotta feed the kids, and a lot of kids are picky, especially these two. So if you guys want to learn how to make more kid-friendly dishes, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. Bye.